don't y'all miss me? I miss y'all. I miss y'all. I miss y'all, but I'm back here. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Tower Crush back with another review, and this time it is for Sisters on BET. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so very much. And hey guys, it has been a journey and I have been all over the place. I do apologize. My movie is kind of blowing up. It is now on Tubi. It is called Starstruck. Starstruck. Go check my movie out on Tubi. You won't see my face, but I wrote it. I directed it. I produced it. I'm all over that thing, but I'm just not in it. But I do appreciate your support. So thank you so very much for that. And I have been absentee from my sister's franchise for a few weeks and that I do apologize for. But I'm back and I thank you so much for your sincerity and forgiving me for being absent or whatever. Because I really am trying. I just want to go ahead and ask you guys for permission in advance to record anywhere. Because the one of the problems that I'm having is I don't always have my backdrop of my equipment. But I can record in a car. I can record. If that's cool with y'all, if y'all don't really care, because as you can see, I don't have a backdrop, but I couldn't I couldn't disappoint again. So um, I appreciate y'all working with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And eventually I will get back on track and everything will be as it should. So thank you again. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, I want to start off with the Maurice uh, situation with the, with the jail and whatnot. So of course, we do know he is out. But he is still being a jack, um, a, a donkey. We'll just say that. Um, he's been very mean to Sabrina and Calvin and anyone else that would talk to him. Um, Bayo actually got an attorney for him and Sabrina, and he act like he didn't want the attorney because Bayo is homophobic. And I'm like, boy, you don't have no choice. Is you trying to go to jail for 15 years or not? Nah? So he's being very Maurice. -y. And every now and then they'll check him, but they don't check him enough, man. I would have been stopped talking to that boy. We'd have been fell out. We would we we would have had it. I mean, I'll let he got to say about me, but you don't want to get me to where I done lost my job. I done lost my position. I'm fighting for my freedom because you didn't want to say no to the D. Let's just be honest. Maurice, you knew he was bad and you continue to deal with him. I don't know what else to tell you. So, um, <clears throat> I just find it, it it funny that he still has this much gall to to be the jerk that he's been um, too absolutely too flamboyant for me too too mean too mean he needs to stop I'm over it I'm over it uh, let's talk about Sabrina and Bayo a little bit now I don't know exactly where that's gonna go because Bayo is definitely showing his homophobic side. But I feel like Sabrina really likes him and I feel like she should like him and I feel like that should not stop her from liking him. I feel like she should request that he be respectful in her presence or whatever. But I don't know. I like Bayo for her. But I don't like the fact that Maurice is talking about, you know, doing something to Q and he did not really shot the man and put him in the hospital when he went to repo his car and he wouldn't give it to him. But then you're talking about killing a man. And running. Um, did you forget that Bayo paid a lot of money to get you out of jail? You can't run nowhere. Boy, you better sit down and, and deal with the consequences because she tried to tell you to stop dealing with that boy and you kept saying, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I mean. You did not know what you was doing. What you was doing was about to get her and you set up. That's what you was doing. All for the D. And I hope it was worth it. I really do. Because you acting like a ugh, I don't but anyway, I hope it works out between Bayo and Sabrina. I do like the fact that she's kind of pushing Calvin off and she's not really giving him the time of day. That makes me feel very good, very, very good. Now, uh, let's talk about Danny and Preston. Now, Preston's been going hard, super hard, trying to get Danny back. He done put and brought Mandy around and, you know, pretty much gave Mandy the ring that he tried to get to Danny. And how you gonna get that ring back, I don't know. But he would not let up. He felt like it's something between him and Danny and he didn't want to let go of it. He found out about the, you know, the guy that tried to, that sexually assaulted her and physically assaulted her. And he actually caught him in the act of trying to attack Danny and, you know, broke, broke in and, and stopped it from happening. And ever since then, he's been staying with Danny trying to protect her. And Danny likes it. And finally today, she tells him that she feels like that they should try. Oh, good girl, 
Danny. It's okay. Let love in. Love feels good. It feels bubbly. It feels all good on the inside. You should allow it. It's good. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. I love it. And so we see that Danny and Preston are about to be an item again. And so I'm not so mad at that because I think she sent him through enough. Like if you are one of my day ones with this show, you know how I felt about Preston and, and those very insensitive. What is going on with my hair right there? probably should have did something to it. I don't know. Sorry, guys. It's just sticking out all right there. Where? Put it down. Okay. And there it is again. <laughs> okay, let me just do that that way. I don't feel like it's... And it's still just that one... You know what? Whatever. Okay, so... <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so I am kind of happy that Danny is going to go ahead and give Preston a try because we do need at least one good and healthy relationship. And at one point, they had the only healthy relationship on the show. And then it's like Tyler had to do something like, oh, healthy relationship. Oh, I don't do those. Oh, let <laughs> me mess it up. <laughs> So maybe they'll get on the right track and they'll be the catalyst for the rest of the, for the, of the show as far as good couples go. Um, let's talk about Hayden and his wife. Like, it is crazy to me that he literally married this girl in Vegas. Like, first y'all was going to Miami and then y'all went to Vegas and then y'all got married. Are you crazy, bro? Like, you don't even know her. You don't even know her. And she is like ready to take everything from you. And she knows all she got to do is keep you married for a month. And it is a wrap for you. Half of what you own, she owns. And I just hope that the twat in the head was that good, baby. Because she about to take you for a lot. And Fatima done already backed out. She said, I ain't in it no more. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Oh, but you do. Because, and, and it just makes me so mad. Because she really wanted the girl to go after everything. But then when the girl started going after everything, she's like, I don't want you to do that. No, that's not what I want. But that's what you said. But that's what you had said, Fatima. So she just doing what you had said. So <laughs> I don't know why Fatima's so angry, but I'd say she needs to get over it. And then we have Andy and Gary. Andy and Gary are a trip. Now, y'all do know a few weeks ago when they had the little smoke session and Andy got toe up. That, listen... That sent me, when she was telling Gary about himself, I, if it wasn't for the good sex, I wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be doing this. The only reason I'm even dealing with you is because sex is good. It ain't about love. It's about sex. Let's admit it. <laughs> he was just like, what? It's like, no, don't don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm like, bro, what'd you think? I mean, I really didn't think Tyler was going to take it this route, but I'm happy he did because I'm ready for you to be done and over and out of the show. You got nerve enough to be trying to tell Hayden about himself, knowing the way you are with Andy. Please make it make sense because it don't make sense to nobody but you. Um, you you did everything in your power to try to control and manipulate that girl, but that girl got high and told you what it really was, and I couldn't have been happier. I was cheering Andy on. She was like, get out. Get out. <laughs> so proud of that girl, but I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how long it's going to last. And I don't know exactly where she's going with it. We still have not seen um, Big Bird this season. Where is he? Did he keep the firm? Did he lose the firm? Like, because I want to say he kept it because they would have said something and we would be seeing Hayden trying to take over and be the boss. And we haven't seen that yet. So I'm guessing that he came up with the money. Um, and I'm hoping that Andy winds up giving... Well, I'm a chance because I feel like he's a better fit for her than Gary is. And now that we know Gary is not really her type, he's a little too short, Robin's bigger. Oh, girl, make no mistake, you gotta go with Robin. Now, Zach and Karen, now that, listen, 
I was ready to jump in the TV and beat Zach up myself. Like, I wanted to whip me him. Like, but dude, you know better. Okay, so y'all thought she was dead. The way you left that office, like, you didn't even have the presence of mind to think about Fatima. Not even when you got to the car. Like, you got to the car and, re and didn't realize that your fiancé was no longer with you. You left her standing there so that you could rush behind your ex-girlfriend because you thought she was in a fire. And she may be deceased. No, bro, I was so mad at you. And then when she come walking up, the way you embraced her, you didn't just embrace her one time. You kept on holding her. You just kept on holding her. And you just kept on holding her. No, bro, let her go. Look at the look on your lady's face. And then they keep talking about she gonna have to find some grace for me. She don't have to find nothing for you. She can leave you right where you are. She could have left you right where you were. I don't appreciate it at all. And, you know, of course, Karen, she's going to read so much into this. Of course, she, oh, he loves me. Did you see how he came for me? Oh, my God, it was all his eyes. Did you see Fatima? She was so sad. She was so sad, but he's mad. And, and Zach, Zach, I love you, Zach. Oh, you love me. He was sweet. He was nice. We talked. He was sweet. He going to help me. Mm -hmm. Girl. Don't be so desperate. Please don't be so desperate. Now, you sitting here telling these girls that you know who the baby daddy is, but you still ain't told neither one of them, and you didn't have to talk with both of them. So that tells me Aaron is your baby daddy. Aaron is your baby daddy. And I say that because when you was just sitting there talking to Zach two nights, and Zach said, Karen, I don't even know if that's my baby. You didn't say nothing. You just picked up your purse and left. If that was his baby, you would have told him right then because you was this close to getting him to come to your house. So you thought. So you would have used everything that you could have used. In fact, you would have told him immediately. You would have given him the test results. Look, I tested Aaron, his DNA, and it ain't my baby's DNA. You the daddy. You the pappy. You would have done everything in your power. That ain't his baby. That ain't his baby, Karen. And I am convinced there is nothing that you can say or do to, to you know, make me see otherwise unless you have... You know, one of his real kids show up and be like, this is the baby that I just had this ex. And I would be like, you know what? Them kids look just like him. That is his baby. But other than that, that ain't none of his child. That is the preacher's child, and you know it. And the preacher, he's just been, oh my goodness, uh, 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 a loose cannon, I would say. He's been, you know, clocking out on Pam, um, you know, getting smart with just about everybody. And he even... Told Pam to mind her own business when he was at the uh, diner trying to invite Jennifer out for food. Like, um, is you trying to be with Karen or not? Because you're not supposed to be doing all of this extra that you're doing with this girl. But you know what? I'm here for it because I don't like the way Karen treats you. I feel like she can do better than you. But at the same time, you can do better than her in the way that she treats you. And I need you to stop it. So maybe you do need to see the crazy lady. The lady that you said was crazy. Maybe y'all do need to try to hook up and see what y'all can do because um, Karen just about to be your baby mama. I don't think it's ever going to really work because she she wants Zach and she's never going to stop wanting Zach, period. And, you know, through all of this stuff, you know, Fatima, she just been going through it, crying, trying to hold on. She done walked up and heard Zach telling Karen he loves her. I don't hate you. I love you. Shut up. Why are you doing all this talking with her? And, and where did all of this... You know, I care about you and I want you to know that I care come from. Because the last I checked, y'all was really, you really didn't like her. You didn't want to be in the same room with her. You was huffing and puffing because you had to sit and listen to her letter. All of that. And then all of a sudden, you care about her feelings. Boy, I, boy, boo. You lucky that Fatima allowed you some grace tonight. That she said that she was going to take you back. Because if she didn't, I, I wouldn't have been mad at her. Because you would have had me messed up. Zach, you would have felt my nails on your neck. I would have, I'm telling you. And then, then you would have felt this part on the top of your head. Cause hold up, windmill Jew. I would have, windmill Jew, bro. Like you would not be embarrassing me in front of everybody. And he's like, is that what it's about? The humiliation? Yes. Mm -hmm. You did it in front of everybody. Yes. That's a whole lot of it. That's probably 85% of it. Because I know you loved her. Everybody knows you love her. You was with her too long not to love her. Love don't just go away. But all of that display that you did, uh-uh, bro. You were supposed to be tackled with like a linebacker, period. She was supposed to take you down, bro. Pound, pound, down. Yes, that's what was supposed to happen. Yes, I'm for the domestic violence in this situation, honestly. <laughs> a little bit. 
but yeah, I definitely feel like she could have, she could have definitely handled it a lot worse than she did. She, she took it like a G. She took the ring off, had that old emotional talk with Andy, knowing she was gonna put that ring back on. Girl, boo. Girl, boo, because you would have been gone. You would have been gone. There would have been no you being in the apartment at all if it was that serious. Um, and so I thought it was very interesting, you know, Karen trying to get, you know, Zach to come over and have sex with her. She telling the girls, yeah, he's coming over to have sex with me. I want sex for him now. I want him on top of me and inside of me. I love you. I love you, Zach. I love you, Zach. Zach, 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 you gonna come. Oh, you gonna come. I'm gonna leave the door open. Yes, because you ain't got no key no more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the door open. No, 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 no. I know you. I know you. Well, know this. He went and got his woman back. And guess who came through that door? His woman. So it's about to go down and get real ratchet next week. Because I ain't leaving until I tell her what I got to say. That's right. You better tell her for Timmy because you are so insecure when it comes to this girl. But I need you to go on and pick up your security. I'm going to need you to go ahead and let that girl live um, and figure it out and not let her get to you and your relationship again. When you know somebody is after your relationship like that, it is up to you to defuse that situation. She's not going to do it. Because she doesn't want to. She wants him. She doesn't want you to stop what she's doing. She wants to succeed. So I was very happy that you actually went over there to confront her. Um, and I can't wait to see how that comes out next week. So right now, um, we got Fatima and Zach back together. We got Karen not really wanting to be with the preacher because of the whole situation with the other lady. And she feels like he's having something. Plus, she thought she had a chance with Zach. Um, we got Pam is kind of like in limbo, got a job, don't really got a job, don't really know what she gonna do now that the place is on fire. Um, they call fire. Let's see, we got Calvin and Maurice. Calvin kind of sad because, you know, Sabrina ain't really trying to spend no time with him, which I'm happy she's not because he's not the right one for her. But he has been super sweet to her, so it, it is kind of sad seeing him grovel. Um, uh, Maurice is still being a jerk, being that he put everybody in the mess of situation that they are in. Um, Danny and Preston back together. Danny not really sweating the uh, physical assault her. Um, and Preston definitely ready to protect her. Hayden kind of debating on the on the annulment now because he finds out that she's not dirty and she comes back clean. Only got in a little bit of trouble in high school. So, um, and Gary and Andy, they just kind of, uh, Gary's trying to come over. She's like, nah, I got something to do. Not gonna be there, blah blah blah. He's like, I'll be there at 9 30. So I don't know if she's gonna let him come over or what's gonna happen, but she really just needs to leave it where it's at and find her some different meat. Because he's not the one, she's just wasting time. You feel me? You feel me. But that's it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Again, I do apologize. I missed these last few weeks, but I hope I caught everything up and spoke on everything y'all wanted me to speak on. And if not, leave it in the comments and we can talk about it. We can chit chat, chit 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 chat. You know how we do. But again, if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so very much. And if you are not the subscribing type, you know what? You got to the end of this video. And that's more than I can ask of anybody. So thank you. <laughs> I'm so corny. <laughs> and that is my $5 and two cents. Peace.